Hello, everyone, and welcome to Chant Houses of Baltimore, our Mage the Ascension um, game. And once again, the storyteller. Hi. And um, I think last time we left off with an interesting development. Um, does uh, Katrina with the baby want to uh, do us in, or should I? No, you're good. You're good. You think you're good? You sure the baby don't want to? Okay. Uh, I believe last time, the main crux of things is uh, after some little investigation and stuff, you found that a the one door that had led to the interesting basement also apparently shifted the house mm -hmm. to a different time, different place, different reality. Who really knows? Um, so you shifted to this new little area. Um, that's very interesting. And when you did that, you overheard on the radio that um, some people were coming to uh, check in on that and you all decided to, ooh, we better bounce out of here before the Popo show up. I think that about summarizes it. Most of the episode was you figure out how to activate the door and stuff and why things were happening. But now that they did, Interesting new development. All right. So, I think that's summarizes. Then I miss any major story beats for those who, for whatever reason, did not decide decided to just you know jump into this episode and skip the last episode. The silence tells me no. Okay. Yeah, I think that was it. New people met their mentors that hadn't before. Oh, yeah, a couple of mental yeah. meetings. All right. So that works. Okay. Um, all right. So I think we will begin where we kind of left off with everybody um, skedaddling out of the chantry house. Running from the pobo. Yeah, running. All right. So you're, you're basically going down the street and as you are you know people are staring at the group of you as you're going make sure to lock the house before we leave stuff eyes like oh i locked the house beep, beep. i want what's her name break it in there or something no she wouldn't dare yeah so as you are Hastily, you got going down the street and around some blocks. You notice the city. It's quite a bit different than how you remember. Like, turning down a street, which would normally lead you to locations that are familiar or leading you to areas that you've never seen before. Like, shops, even street names are different. Where before, they used to have, like, interesting names like, you know, Lafayette and gay and scary street they're not like mainly numbered like 31st <laughs> street 22nd stuff like that i do have a question it's not scary is street it's south carry street <laughs> is is the street layout still the it's same s carry scary <clears throat> is the street layout still uh it seems very it uh the street layout as you're going through does seem quite different no oh, fuck Typical technocrats. It actually makes more sense. Makes more sense. No, a, no, it doesn't. It's more organized. <laughs> do we do we see any um, familiar buildings or landmarks? Landmarks up in the sky. Landmarks in the sky, like the moon. Uh, like tall buildings. Is there a moon? What's are there the any moon? tall buildings that we can use to orientate ourselves? Um, you don't see many tall buildings. You do, as you're going around, do see what appears to be the Washington Monument at Mount Verdon still preserved. So you do see that. It's right behind you in that picture, I believe. Okay. Maybe we should head there. People usually avoid historical landmarks. Yeah, it's not very far from the house. So if I recall, it's literally right across the street. 
we need to get some distance away from here. I'm going to start heading in the way in the direction of the harbor because I feel like that will tell me if we're still in Baltimore or if we're somewhere else that just also has a similar monument. As you're walking, you do notice uh, some really uh, gaudy flags occasionally, so you're pretty sure you're in Maryland. Good to know. Mm. Yeah. Some if things don't change. Some yeah. things you can kill. Does a compass still work normal? Um, if you want to draw circles, yeah. No, the other kind of compass. Uh it still points magnetic north, yes. Okay, that's good. I think that was the first thing that I checked when the room shifted. We did um, also try to connect to like the local radio stuff, and that's where we heard about the uh, the corpos coming our way. Yep. Yeah. As you're walking, you do see someone from one of the alleys like lean out. It's like. Um, are they cooling a pie? Taking a chance and following them into an alley. Yeah. Because we stand out, right? We don't look like we belong. You stand out a bit. Our outfits don't match. This person's like staring at you. Uh, Do you remember what time of day I said it was? I think you said it was evening because or evening or late because there's there's lots of lights up in the sky and stuff. Yeah. Full effect of the neon world. Yeah, what's what's this person look like? Uh, they're wearing um, what appears to be some sort of denim, denim, denim. Um, a like laser like shirt, uh, jacket, but it's like multicolored. You know, think nineties fashion. Um, so you know, kind like that. Not. <laughs> you're not chill on this time. Um. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It doesn't look good from any direction. <clears throat> it's like, f- follow me, follow me. It's like the sun's coming okay. down. Yep. Follow me. Who are you? Well, I, no time for interactions. I, I'm friend. They're not wearing uniform. That's probably a good sign. True. I'm following. Yeah, let's follow. Yeah. Lead you uh, a little bit down the alley, gets to an area, uh, you know, turn around, reach down and pull a uh, storm gutter drain, uh, moves in, it's like, down, quick, we'll be safer. Uh, someone help them. Pointing to mm-hmm. Amir- Amaryllis is like, uh, 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 oh, I'll do it. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I, I assume it's like a drop down hole kind of thing, mm-hmm. like with a ladder. Yeah. Um, no ladder, just drop down. Yeah. Just drop down. Okay. Um, I'm I'm gonna like um, basically um, put Amaryllis on on my back. Someone else has to take the chair. I can take the chair. <clears throat> And I hope Amaryllis holds on because. No, I'm not going to. I'm being, yes, I'm going to hold on. Someone can put some light down there so I know where I land. Uh, it's fine. It's it's safe. You're, you're just not in water. Yeah, I want to see where I land. There'll be lights when you get down there. Come on. I take my flashlight and look down there with it. Thank you. And I dropped on. I'm the genius of the group. Oof. <laughs> we're in trouble they don't know any what they're talking about how follow them down to let's all get down there not down. it's always safer down there obviously i'll go last since i'm the one holding the damn flashlight go down person just reaches up just pulls the thing follow sun should be down in a few seconds we'll be safe should we ask um, this goblin if we're going in the right direction? What's the right direction? That was a... Never mind. 
I'm I'm just I'm just wondering like uh, this does not seem like a uh, wheel wheelchair accessible environment, so I'm probably just gonna keep carrying MRS. Um, as you follow this individual, um, the sewers start getting bigger and wider. Uh, those who are native to New Baltimore City, um, um, oh yeah, that goblin. <laughs> ah, I forgot about him. Um, so yeah, so um, if you those familiar with Baltimore City, like you know, the sewers are not this damn big. They're huge comparatively to like the Parisian sewers. Um, so that is a little bit of a interesting change. After a bit, um, person gets to a wall, looks around, pushes some, pulls some bricks out, reaches in, and the wall kind of shifts over mechanically. You just hear like gears screeching. He's like, yeah. And he will take a good close look at that as he goes through. Could you determine how it was opened and like like what buttons they pressed and how it was all connected? To, um, to figure out if he could do, do it a on his own. Quick, do a quick um, awareness and um, dip, 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 dip. perception is one of the main skills now, right? Uh, yes, perception is yes. Yeah, so perception awareness. Perception. Oh man, my book binding is finally breaking on the Mage 20 book. Yeah. It was only a matter of time. Uh, nope. I can't see it. Yeah, okay. You didn't get no successes? That's correct. I didn't see what happened. Oh, you botched. Um, <laughs> so as you go to look, whatever, a like just some, you think oil or grease just like squirts into your eye and you're just like, ah! I knew I should have worn goggles. I always wear goggles in the sewer. That's what they told me. Just got a door jam happy. Um, so you go into a room, and as you go, um, like the door opens, you guys go into like this little chamber, and it starts getting nicer. Like it elevates slightly above the water and everything, and there's actually like nice stone and stuff. And a few more feet as you walk, you start seeing furniture, like some couches, some throw rugs, tables. You guys, like. We should be safe here for a bit. Uh, you can take your shoes off if you want. If the floor looks clean, I'll do it. Yeah, we try to keep a clean floor. I mean, we're not animals. Yeah, either. I'll do the same. Yeah. Uh, what if we quickly need to run? Uh, then you quickly put your shoes back on. I I'm just saying, if you want comfort and, you know, to. I put uh, I help uh, Amarillo's back into her chair because I assume it's it can like decently stand here at least. They can roll and also here. Ronya is strong, but she can't carry her forever. Yes. Okay. Is there a few moments later uh, a door opens and a individual wearing like a uh, um like slacks and black jacket with a hat on scarf some sunglasses kind of walks in it's like uh, uh, holy fuck who the hell are these people the first guy you met is like uh, i think they're in trouble with uh the authorities i saw them running and they kind of stick out i brought around to you so they'd be safe yeah you could say we're not from around here both of them are like you're not from around here Understatement of the century, I would say. So one guy steps forward, he's like, well, uh, not sure where you're from, but let me introduce ourselves. I think the more interesting question is maybe when. What do you mean by when? Not where, but when we're from. What year is it? 210. Check okay, out. maybe it is a where question still. 
Uh, anyway, um, that's Charles. And my name is Pavel. Okay. Nice. nice to meet you. Yes. Uh, oh, sit down, sit down. Oh, we got a couches. Oh, do, do, do we got we got um um beverages for humans? That's good. Mm -hmm. It is interesting that you specified that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we got um. I, I think we got a store of oh, Otelli's um bacon beer. Uh, we got some um, Budweiser. Uh, we got some um, um, uh, some purple stuff. Uh, Sunny D. Sunny D's without alcohol. Yes, it's okay. an orange drink. All right, I make sure that's what Nabu gets. <laughs> Oh, beer is not considered alcohol in that world. Too weak. Um, <laughs> they just sit and it's like, ah, sir. Where are you all from? Or where are you? It, it, what? I mean, you, you're all confusing me some. You guys can stand out a little. Where you, are we? Yeah, good question. My home? Yeah, no, the city. Oh, Baltimore. No. Is it is it common to live underground? No. Uh, we're somewhat safe from the eyes. They don't really go below a certain thing. Oh, um, Pentex. Oh, Pentex is one of the many companies that uh, um, produce our things. Mm -hmm. You you said the year two ten. Mm -hmm. Two tier two ten since when? Since what? Uh two ten. Since the um, uh, it's two ten since unification of the great powers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other calendars? I don't even have a calendar. Do you have like a recent newspaper or magazine or printed? Uh, I guess maybe is anything printed? Books. It's gonna say the like same access thing. to the internet. Um, yeah, do you have some printed stuff? We're out of the loop news-wise, and we're looking to find out some current events to get ah. our bearings. Um, oh, uh, there was a recent baseball game was pretty uh, good. Still. We were thinking a bit more like. Um, Political news. Yeah, that. Hold on one sec. I made mean, stuff. Nobody asked about the baseball. Yeah, no, nobody cares about baseball. What? Mm, no. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. Um. Well, I mean, let's see. Who's yeah. president? Wait, that uh, won't help. President uh, of which area? Uh, just name some presidents, some current presidents. There's a uh, the president of Baltimore. How about that? No, Baltimore. mayor, governor. Okay, you're, you're confusing me. You're asking some really weird questions. Almost like you're. Let's let's go back to the basics. That, the sorry, fuck? that's just me. I'm not. I'm not. Let, uh, let's just go back to the basics. We don't care who the fuck is the president of Baltimore or whatever. What we care about is who are you? Why do you live in a fucking sewer? And are running from the authorities. Right, well, as I said, my name is Pavel. Uh, I'm a reality deviant, as they used to say. Uh, we called ourselves kindred. Um, I'm living in the sewers because it's a bit safer than up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't really care as much down here as they do up there. 
Uh, I've been around for, well, I was born in the 19th century. I know I don't look it. You look great. Thanks. Um, one moment. <laughs> Let me check something. Do you know why those people would be chasing a random group of strangers like us? Um, I'm going to guess you're some sort of RDs. Reality deviant? Yeah. That seems like it would be a very broad term. It is. Hmm. Well, perhaps we are those. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Honey asks Eisner, and she she asks him, "Are you are you a mage or something else?" Mm, no, I'm um, kindred vampire. Um, Ronnie and Mil, like moves in front of uh, curious her her siblings. Oh no no no, it's okay. I'm a vegetarian. The last two vampires I met were not. Yeah. Four? Oh wow, where? Way back when. I don't want to talk about it. Let's say I got out of the situation much better than they did. Mm. Yeah. So let's cut to the chase. We're from Baltimore, but it's not this one. Things seem to be very different than uh, they were yesterday for us. Yeah, so something just, happened. Stop. We don't. We don't understand. We're from. Uh, we're from Baltimore from from the twenty first century, early twenty first century. Like. I think we we are like uh, 20... 2020 ish. It's like when you were like one hundred and fifty, maybe. Uh, on which calendar? You, you said you don't have a calendar. That's the thing. I, don't I think have we're a thinking calendar. The one that goes from Jesus Christ birth bullshit thing. Oh, the old Gregorian one. Yeah, they got rid of that uh, two hundred ten years ago. So that's a coincidence. Yeah, when when the grand unification of the European powers happened, they got rid of the old calendar and marked it as a new enlightened era. I see, I see. That's good. Is it still 365 or did they finally go metric with it? Why would someone go metric? What kind of mad people would do that? It's all lines and squares is the best way. What? Can't go metric with days. You could do whatever what? you want. Time is made up. What kind of French Revolution? Like the crap rotation is that? of this <laughs> of the planet is not well. That is just because it's not the same level of daylight at three p.m. every day. That's already not the case. But people have said it's a good idea, and it seems they didn't do it, it yet. Okay, you mentioned unification. Unification of what? Europe. Apparently. Great European powers. England. They... Oh God! Something tells me Germany was in the middle of all of this. Yeah, guys, I don't... Germany physically, ger physically middle. How I did don't... the how did the U.S. affect the European thing? What's the U.S. What's the U.S.? You were alive in the 19th century. You know what the U.S. is? Yeah, stop playing. No, 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 guys. I don't think we're in the future. An alternate present. Yes. How old? How long ago was Jesus? I That's mean... a if you believe in that i guess two two and a half to two minutes i don't know i don't i i'm i'm not one to, 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 i forget what they're called uh the people who follow jesuits that jesus his followers are called jesuits i think because it's in the name sure yeah I, I i'm not one of those they really didn't they haven't been around in a while oh huh. sure. what was the year before the unification uh, was uh, hold on, damn, you guys are asking a lot of questions. Let me go grab all my history books. Shit. Do you have like a, a current search engine that we could just type in random questions and get in information? Not down here. Oh, 
it, if you utilize the grid, they um they can they follow can, you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Typical. So they, they can yeah. probably also detect it us down here if we were to cast magic. Yeah, I agree. But Correct. That's how they found us in the first place. We had it uh, on the radio. Oh, yeah, probably if there's uh, very big magics and stuff. Yeah, possibly. Is there a community of people who do magic or is magic a sole property of those in charge? Like regulated? Or can yeah. anyone do it? Wow. Um, yeah, there. When you say magic, there isn't really magic. I guess you could say. Do you mean like cards, or do you mean like blood sorcery? Because that's so it's like not common at all. Okay. That's all sort of an umbrella thing. Yeah. Um. <laughs> We may be from a different reality. I don't know how that works. Mm. <coughs> Things are different. I know. I know. I guess I get upset too, baby. Our travel was a Sorry. surprise. Mm. So we're not incredibly prepared. Yeah. Um, I... I mean, I wish I could have. I do know an individual who might know a bit more. I could take you to him in a uh, little bit, couple hours, maybe. Yeah, that would be helpful. Day or so. Who, who is got nothing but time. I'm sorry, two of you said something once. Who is this individual? Um, it's a friend of mine. Um, uh, her name is um. Sam. Uh, she she's a historian. She likes history. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. We we uh met a couple years ago. I was um uh, I I was breaking into a vet clinic. Anyway, um yeah, that would be very helpful. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm trying to help. I'm just again, like I'm not quite sure. Neither are we. Who? So, what are your names? You can call me Q. Like the letter. Cool. I'm Vanya. Holly. I'm Morales. <laughs> ah. And. So you know, I don't fully trust you. You mean you don't meet the random guy you just found in the sewer who said no. he's helping you in the middle of nowhere? I the mean, vampire I, specifically. I I don't know why you're not trusting me. I mean, shit, I would just trust the first person to approach me in a strange new world implicitly. I, I'm I'm just saying you're saying that like yeah, yeah like you're, you're saying that like it's like ooh you don't trust me like it's why would you trust me I'm a complete another stranger I wouldn't trust you anyway but I specifically don't trust you because you're a vampire that's racist fuck you I'm just saying not <laughs> There are a lot of reasons not to trust me. I mean, like, I smell like soiled cheese. I got blood red eyes. You just met me. I live in a sewer. Is Charles a vampire? No. He's just part of the underground. Oh, the underground. What's that? Please elaborate, since we now seem to be at your uh, hospitality. Uh, it is people who live underground who help others navigate escape or get around the the uppers the government the people in charge and stuff like that oh so it's basically what it sounds like that's good <clears throat> yeah we take it quite literally and then there's the deep underground we don't talk about them what what, what were the um ah, crap 
continue. Um, GM question. Uh, what were the um, the Vibana mentor that we had? What was his name? The what? The Vibana mentor that we had. I have no clue what you're saying, Hera. They're using a word I don't recognize. The the um the tradition, the verbena. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure if you're saying benefactor or mentor. It I sounded like you were mixing them both together. What? No, is, the is, verbena mentor. Yeah. The verbena mentor. Yeah, I thought you were speaking German there for a second. Uh I feel like I'm being very gaslit here. Oh, <laughs> We're no. not coming through and all. What's going on? We will replay this later. It it, you, it just sounded like the words were weird. Um, so who, the mentor. Uh, yeah, you remember his name? Uh, it was a lot of weird names. I mean, I this. figured I would remember his name. Just I, as a player, forgot to make a note of it, and I don't remember it. Your yeah. mentor's name is Magnus. Thank you so much. Yeah. He's got tattoos and he's Norwegian and he has a Swedish wife. Mm -hmm. And they're the cutest couple. Uh, yeah, when it turns to um, Holly and it's like, Magnus might still be around. Maybe he could help. Like, if we. How would we know about how to reach him? These people might. Whoever uh, takes his glasses off and you just see, like, bloodshot red eyes. It's like, like all the white is just red because of blood. Now it's like, yeah. Um, well, we can head on out in a few. I mean, a few all done. We, we do have um, I, I leftover from dinner from last group that came through. If you, if you would like a bite before they leave. I'm curious what type of that food you have nice. in a, a world like this. It's Bratsworth. Bratsworth. Is that yeah. your butler's name? No, it's like some sort of sausage thing. Oh, Bratwurst? Yeah, that's it. Bratwurst. Okay. I, I understand that you might not use that word a lot, being a vampire. Yeah, I mean... It's like how the jumper seems, doesn't use doors. It seems like Blutwurst would be more your thing. <laughs> oh. Nah, I say I'm a, I'm a vagina. I don't need to feed from animals. I don't know, I'll go get some it's, it's a vampire thing. So what sort of, uh, so looking around this town they live in. From animals, I imagine Snorlax from on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> so what's on, what type of things do they have in this like underground apartment? Just like a TV or radio or like stoves and microwaves that we recognize and just like wondering what the technological level is that we would be familiar with uh, to see where we stand. It's a bit eclectic, but think 1980s in this room. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So after a nice little breakfast meal or whatever, he's like, all right, follow me and let me take you to uh, Sam. Is, is she also in she the underground? Uh, she lives, she's part of it, but she actually lives up, up but she will be safe. There's a uh, um, stairs leading up to her place. Great. Is I that hope we didn't impose too much. Huh? Is that route she can take? That we can take? Amaryllis. Uh, I have no idea what she's in, but I uh, guess we'll find somewhere here. Weird chair. Right. Oh, there's flying cars. Maybe there's flying wheelchairs. Possibly. Oh, there are hover boards. I would like one before we leave the world. Okay. I'll, I'll just keep my eyes open. The Q's going to have his eyes out for. Small hub does that could take to reverse engineer. So after a bit, he leads you to an area, and you'll manage to figure out a way up. <clears throat> and you enter another person's house. It's a nice house. Lots of books everywhere, thrown about. Think book hoarder. 
Go Holly. As you go up, Favel goes into the room, talks to someone, comes back. It's like, uh, Sam will be out in a moment. I'm going to go back home. See you. Thank you very much, Favel. You're welcome. A few moments later, an old lady, probably in her 70s, comes out. She's like, Hello. Pavel said you're interested in history and books and knowledge. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Ah. How, how familiar are you with Pavel and and uh, what he's like? He smells. <laughs> but I've known him for several decades. <laughs> He's an interesting fellow. Yes. He's a survivor. So he's, uh, he's very accommodating. Yeah, he, he is awfully friendly person. You get him in trouble one day, but yeah. So oh. you know about history, right? Yeah, a little. So what was the last year before the new time? Before the unification? Um, okay, so you want to know what happened before unification? Okay, so before unification was a great event in the history. That's when the great powers of Europe finally unified under the order of reason or who had renamed himself, who would eventually rename the South Technocratic Union in a couple years after that. Uh, but they were still considered the order of reason at the time. Now, they started gaining power across the world uh, several uh, centuries or so before that, when the Sun King um, showed great aptitude for the uh, arts and stuff, and the order of reason came to him and showed him the great wonders of science and enlightenment and technology. And utilizing that, the Sun King then uh, started um, spreading the word of how great these the order of reason was and the other powers at the time all started having members in their courts. And as the members grew in power and influence, they started, you know, getting more in, you know, starting to get to the various rulers and elites throughout most of the world. Primary Europe, they, I say most of the world because, you know, Europe had conquered a lot of the world at the time. And so they started going through that process. And eventually, 210 years ago, uh, the what remained of the, you know, sovereign powers and stuff ceded effectively control to the order of reason, who was now the technocratic union. Um, and uh, essentially, they were the de facto, if not de jure, rulers of the world. Okay. There's a great, a there's great big celebration, and we actually entered a, what we would call uh, about it was about 150 years of what they call the Platinum Age, greater than the Golden Age, Platinum Age, where science and technology and all the horrors of the world were basically swept away, leaving an enlightened, great world where. Things were great and wonderful. And then about 20, 30 years ago, stuff started going bad. How so? Was power uh, corrupt? Is that what happened? Well, the union basically started... Cra it was always divided, but the cracks in it kept widening to where they basically created two major factions. The Utopians and the um, Unionists. One basically believed that the mandate of the order of reason or the union was to be the guardians, protector, shepherds of the world. Their job, even though they were in ruling, was to serve by ruling and to elevate mankind to greater, greater heights. The other one was that the only way for the world and people to be safe was for having iron locked control and to make sure everyone followed status quo and not deviated by from the master plan of enlightenment and the two sides have been fighting and it's allowed 
things to emerge from the conflict. Yeah. So let me guess which one runs Baltimore. Um, technically, I mean, what, what do you mean by run? Because technically, most which places one has more influence over how people live their day to day. Um, not really one or the other as much, hmm. which has allowed the other things like Pentax and organizations and corporations to rise and fill the void where oh, the lack so the, of leadership maybe, is there and stuff. Like the two big factions are busy with each other too much and people are taking advantage of the gaps. Yes. yes. Which one runs the security? Like the police forces we were just running from? Uh, not specifically a faction, but that would be the uh, uh, they call themselves the uh, NWO for life. I had to make that joke. I mean, um, it was but, necessary. Yes. Uh, Are but they, they give them a lethal dose of poison. Yeah. Um, they basically run the surveillance and the policing of things. Um, now, the that organization overall tends to be on the side of the uh, unionist side of the conflict but not all of them like you can draw a big picture between the sides but within each group there are members it just depends on like how many of each so you have like the world order you have the syndicate you have the uh, progenitors iteration tens or x um the etherites the uh, electrodyne engineers and the um, uh, void engineers too. So those are the factions. Luke, your character knows that etherite in your area refers to your group, which are not a member of the union. Yes, etherites. That's what that's what Q is in our own world. I mean, let's just take. Okay, I still don't know if we traveled through time. Or into a different dimension. Well, or if you had a blue box, you could do both. We do not. Well, Maybe at least we that's do. still the same. I've been working on one, but there's a lot of steps. Fixed point in history, Cat. That's all time oh. whiny. Wait, wait. Uh, may maybe things are just completely different. So you're a historian, right? Uh, That's what my degree says. Okay. Have you heard ever of World War II? No. Okay. What? Do you remember when England found, or when the United States of America was founded and broke away from England? Does that happen? Hundreds mm -hmm. of years ago? No. Don't know what you're talking about. The continent that we're on. Who first? No. Pavil said that he had never heard of the United States. Right. So we're going to have to go back farther to figure out what, where is, the difference what is this country called? Are there still countries? They're geographical regions. What is this continent called? Does a continent have a name? Yeah, America. Okay. What do you know about how that was first uh, colonized by outsiders? It's the fucking United States of Delaware. No, um, the Union made sure outsiders don't encroach. Before the Union? Well, before the Union, I mean, there are people who traveled here and stuff. Uh, um... <laughs> You know, this is all interesting, I mean, but I don't know if it helps us. I mean, the first people on this continent was like 50, 60,000 years ago. I mean, right. they came from multiple immigration sources from the world. Yeah, there's a big land bridge. Uh, that's one way they actually came from multiple ways, including ship and a few other areas. But that's, uh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So they came, they were here. Uh, there's travel, apparently some, they, they were called, uh, some forms of reality 
deviants, as the union calls them, did travel here off and on through the centuries. Um, oh, and then the uh, country of England sent, uh, well, they didn't, but people came over from the old world, came over, um, set up stuff, and yeah, and then when grand unification happened, it kind of just merged. Oh, yeah, everything was merged and stuff, but yeah, there was never any conflict or any nation formed here that was separate from others. Forgive me, but the the nerd in me has to ask, is Australia still considered a prison country? We don't talk about Australia. No, uh, Australia yeah. fell off the planet because it's down under. No, it merged with New Zealand. Um, cool. For those, for those at home, it is a weird ass conspiracy we've all seen where apparently Australia does not exist and is instead a conspiracy by New Zealand to apparently gain people's tourist money. He doesn't speak for all of us and knowing what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's the weirdest thing as well. I've heard other conspiracies that there's more than one Australia. Yeah. I mean, I yesterday heard of a conspiracy theory that the Roman Empire didn't exist. I just oh saw that. God. That's so ridiculous. Now that mom and oh shit. Oh, Jesus. That was on TikTok months ago. Oh, God. Anyway. Um, so, do you I'm know... I'm sorry we, I opened that can of worms. We <laughs> may be from a different version of the world where mm -hmm. most of the events were different. Yeah. I would you, surmise that or you're crazies. Uh, I don't think we're crazy. Probably a little bit. That's what we would always say, isn't it? Catch-22, do you have that book? No. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Do you know anything about uh, traveling between dimensions? You're probably not the one to ask. No, I, I know about traveling between cities. I, I, think, I think none of them, even like people who can figure this out because I think so out of character. I don't think Anya knows enough about magic, but as I understand it, like magic can rewrite reality itself. So we could very well be like still on the same, like we could still be in the same place, but just reality has been so thoroughly rewritten through magic that it's unrecognizable to us. Yeah. And the question is if like our actual reality still exists. I if that's the case if so change something small or large at some point in history and it was one change that cascaded or if everything just got broken well, she reset told itself. us she mentioned a few a bunch of the things technocracy that, the technocracy right. went to um the sun king yeah to louis the i don't remember oh, i forgot that was a real person it is 14th, and, 14th louis the 14th Longest and monarch of Europe or in his introduced him to the joys of the technocracy. Oh, and that changed everything. And like <sighs> if that's if that's the case, so if they were a leading power in France at the time, then like French Revolution didn't happen, the American Revolution didn't happen. World War One, World War Two never happened. Now we have to decide. If we want to go back or not. I mean, we are reality deviants. They're undoubtedly going to hunt us down like dogs. And I can't imagine they're that different than what they're like back home. I mean, they got flying cars. There's been at least fewer world wars, so there might be some coming up. But you don't understand the people in charge hate us. Yeah, that's but true. But it's how also often... just because just because our atrocities didn't happen doesn't mean that other ones like, didn't happen. Yeah, I yeah. Uh, technically, the programs have ceased to ex has ceased about uh, fifteen years ago. Those were when they were actively hunting reality deviants. Yeah, something tells me that was a lot more than six million people. Uh, numbers are unknown. I mean, they were doing it for about 600 years. I mean, even before unification. Jesus. Yeah. Well, it was a good thing because back in the olden days, you used to have wizards summoning dragons to destroy peasants who didn't pay them taxes. No, they just hire people Tax to do doctors. that. 
Yeah. No, mm. they just hire like mercenaries. Oh, mm. Well, things I mean, started. There, you there, see, yeah. You said things. Improvements. You said said things started to break apart twenty to thirty years ago, so it's probably on a downslope at the at the moment. Mm. And I'm that's not, not a good sign. Six hundred years of persecution. I think they started to break down a lot younger. I go. Well, that was in retaliation to like I think they were called a where the wolf creatures where they used to hunt and and herd humans into settlements to control their breeding and then killed any humans that lived beyond a certain age or produced too many kids. Uh, they said there used to be mage kings who used to uh, basically rule over fiefdoms. Really. Um, oh, and then there was the whole, uh, let's see. Uh, they were definitely going back. Yeah. Oh, and then the vampire lords during the long night, that wasn't pleasant for people. Where you basically were just cattle to be fed upon. Hmm. A history is uh, reality is called reality deviant, uh, utilizing their powers and abilities to oppress and basically drive normal people into just horrible states of existence for their own pleasures. See, our timeline is mostly sleeping people oppressing each other. So, oh, they got rid of a lot of that. There's no winning when humans are in charge. Nope. We should all roll uh, by bonobos. The monkeys? Yes. As by the order of reason took control. So the enlightened would rule. Yeah, that there, sounds wrong. There's still people. Uh, I'm starting to think that maybe the, the way back is the way we came. Somehow. But how? I don't know. The only one who can see the fucking unicorn is... My little sister. Do you think the unicorn is somehow the students of the door what flipped the script somehow and it could undo it? She saw a unicorn? They went extinct a while ago. Yeah, but it was a unicorn like as a door and it only appeared to her. Knife in the dark, off of the door, another apple. Yeah, do you have any apples? Yeah. Or or hovercrafts or I think the problem right now is that the house we came in is currently probably a crime scene and swarming with uh, It's with definitely whatever. under surveillance at this point. Yes. Yeah, so we wouldn't have a lot of time once we got in there if we could get in there. Unless we found a secret way in. Sam, could you look at an address and see a current like camera view on it is if there people are watching everything maybe anyone can watch everything oh no i don't have that kind of security clearance oh i mean that's an invasion of privacy yeah nobody should do that yeah only like you know only actually, everybody you, else does <laughs> only the you know authorities with proper clearance are allowed to do that kind of stuff well we probably need eyes on the house before we no, if we can even get there. I can um, lend you my camera. I, I have a question. 35 the, millimeter. Um, when um, we appeared there, did people, and like we walked out of the house, did people seem to be surprised that the house was there? Uh, it was hard to tell if their look was surprised for the house, for you, or uh, the surge of magic. It's hard to tell what surprised them specifically. But they, a lot of people did act a bit like, uh, what the fuck? Is there a local social media system that we could maybe people are talking about it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If there's suddenly a haunted house appearing in the middle of it is still Baltimore, right? Mm -hmm. um, then people will probably be talking about it. There's like a version of Instagram. And if nothing else, the cops will talk about usually too if there's like a, you know, some police action in the neighborhood. Yeah, can we listen to that uh, radio scanner we did earlier to see if there's any anything like that going on? I, I meant to get eyes on the house. Like there's like if there's some social media, there's posts of that images, stuff mm -hmm. like that on whatever on the internet. Yeah, the internet is a thing, right? Uh, what exactly? Describe the internet for me, real quick. It's okay. I don't know. Um, Ronya looks too cute. 
The internet is a way, do you have computers? Yes. It's a way for all the computers to talk to each other and share information with each other in a way that anyone could look at it or use it. Oh, we sort of have that. Uh, we typically go to uh, 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 certain ca uh, cyber cafes to access that stuff. Oh, is it not like common from, from the home as much? Uh, no, most people can't afford the uh, equipment. Oh, that's too bad. It's dangerous. It's a way to keep people in, under control. Under the thumb. Like. It goes over and pulls out a phone. It's like, that, that phone. No screen. I no. feel like their technology is about maybe 20 years before what we're used to. Uh, oh, whoa. What do you mean by that? I think they keep the good technology away from the regular people. I think so too, because like the this, this stuff that you are talking about, these sort of technologies in, in the world that we're from, they kind of went out of style or extinct basically about 20 years ago. But we don't have flying cars. Ronya just pulls out her smartphone. Where I'm from, we don't go into an internet cafe. We just pull this out of our pocket to access the network. You but that's basically a that. paperweight right now. Hmm? So small. It's actually more than a paperweight, and she just snaps a picture. <laughs> okay, it's a paperweight that is also a camera. It's got a calendar on there. It's got SLR. Calculator. Compass, Flash which we know light. works. Um, I thought the compass didn't work. I thought the compass oh. that Talon pulled, pulled out was a literal compass. Regular compasses work. He said they, it still points magnetic north. Yeah, compass is still compass. Yeah, but the GPS didn't. Oh, the GPS, probably not, no. When he looks at the phone, it's like, okay, so I'm not the best for this kind of stuff, but I mean, they're still using technology. They didn't change the, like, the literal laws of physics, right? To Mm, I don't think they did. Or that. the consensus of physics, right? Like, so our our phones should still be able to like talk with the network, right? They just <sighs> they just need they just need the, the right, satellites uh, don't exist though. Our satellites don't. They might have their own satellites yeah. coding languages. No they, guarantee. They might not be able to talk, and they might not be allowed to talk. Want to go to one of cyber cafes? Maybe that'll answer your questions. Yeah, do you Maybe have a way that, that we won't stick out? I, yeah, can we get I some do clothes have, somewhere? Yeah, I have, your friends are going to stick out, but yeah, we have some clothes. Uh, they, they belong to me or and my uh, my son who moved out, so hopefully they'll find some that fits decently. Though nowadays, the some of the fashion is unfitting clothes like people wear like pants that are too loose and shirts that are too tight or vice versa and stuff it's really weird i just don't understand kids nowadays fashion can be whatever the popular person says it is so it is it's really it's really fluid like asymmetricism and like Ooh, mismatchness really is what's uh kind of fashion con con considering like the strange collection of clothes that ronya and her siblings have uh, they actually probably stick out the least Oh, and, <laughs> and bright, bright colors and um, the, the, um, the stretchy material like spandex, but it's not quite spandex. Yeah. Do you have, like sweatbands? No. Sweatbands? Yeah. I got Are a those popular? Of those. Uh, they were popular about 10 years ago. People still wear them, especially older folks. So it won't stand out too much with the sweatbands. Sweet. Yeah. So after a montage of finding clothing, you all find some clothing. I do have some questions. Mm -hmm. Would there be any possible way of my character still being able to use most of their gear? As in look like a cop, but not stand out too much. They got the, um, she has the standard trench coat concealment thing so you can just kind of put that over top you know like a great coat works for me yeah that was always standard 
Remember, if you put your hoods up, no one will recognize you. That's a Star Wars thing. Sometimes that's, you don't even need to put the hoods up. <laughs> let's, let's get to this cafe <laughs> thing. Okay. She walks you down the street a bit. You see people walking. Um, you still get occasional stairs like but not like you know, it's just a typical kind of stairs. Less so the what the hell are these weird ass people and more like well, weird people. Um, sorry, my one of my cords get all wrapped around something. All right, there we go. That's a bit better. Kept pulling my headphones as it was wrapped around. All right, so you go into this the uh, cafe. She's like, I'm not used to these places. Uh, I haven't gone since I was little, and the technology's changed, so I, I might not be the most up to thing. But they should have a clerk that can help you. Oh, um, put out your hands. I'll put my hand out. Is this for local currency? Yes. Do you want some of ours? It might not be worth anything, but historically oh. it could be interesting. Oh, yes, that would be nifty. I do collect things. I'm a mom, a mem, I forget the word for collector of coins. Johnny so. Mnemonic. I'll hand her one of each bill from 100 down. So Oh, nifty. She hands you them. Uh, their bills are ones I can read like this way or this way. And they all are different colors and they got tactile on them. And there's even as you examine them, there's even a thing where it like, projects slightly the uh, numbers and stuff. Um, like, almost like holographic in a way. I like this a lot. So Monopoly Here's, money? Yes, Canadian. Um <laughs> Each one smells like a different thing. Snozzberries taste like snozzberries. Oh. Yeah. Hope we have enough berry bucks to get in there. <laughs> Let's uh, find computers. You go in and you see several like, uh, when, when you look, it's kind of like there's one area where you see like these chairs and another area where it looks like just kind of like rings in the ground like um yeah just weird areas uh around and one uh, clerk comes up and say hello uh welcome to the flying duckman uh internet cafe how can i help you first off your name is incredible we love it very much yeah thank you oh well uh, my name is not flying duckman of course that's the name of the establishment my name's tommy mm -hmm. We would like to use one of your machines. Oh, cool. Like we got um, two kinds of um, machines here, depending on kind of experience you want. You uh, want the full immersive experience or do you want more of the casual just fly experience? Is the immersive hard to use for someone who hasn't used it before? Whoa, you haven't used it? I'm a bit old fashioned. Oh, you must be used to the old gear setup. Man, no one uses that anymore, dude. I mostly use uh, analog types of uh, technology. Analog, wow. That's crash, man. All right, my coat. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but yeah, well, I mean, if you've never used it before, I can't just let you not experience it. Come on, the one of the booths is open. How about Sweet. the rest of you, uh, your family and friends, and whoever they are? I just don't judge. A, just a group. Just a group? You're Polly? No. Oh, that'd be cool. Y'all would make you couples. Uh, I don't know if that'd agree. Oh, except, <laughs> for the, except for the underage people, obviously. But, yeah, they could be your children. Anyway. So yeah, uh, let's, let's we'll see just about stick that. With, uh, with yeah. each other. Well, yeah. That's what polys are about, man. Sticking together. We're we're new in town. We want to make sure we don't lose each other. We everybody wants to stay together. Losing ourselves is just horrible, man. It's so crash. Uh, let's go. Uh, have you any of you? All of you are like this. Like never used. Oh man. All right. 
15 minutes on the house just just for a lot of you you all you all nifty like that um yeah so follow me man very exciting yeah so he leads you to a area that has the circles like now just stand the circles and when you're all ready just give me a thumbs up and i'll start the casting he's gonna hop in that circle he's enthusiastic about trying this new technology Anya is very carefully stepping into the circle. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. And Rose will roll into the circle too. Beat me up, Scotty. Whoa, those are some weird wheels. Nice. All right, everybody steps in a circle? Mm-hmm. All right. As you do. Tommy goes over, uh, he's going to pull out a little uh, remote device, hit some things, and you just see what appears to be like a multicolored screen come in front of you, and next thing you know, you are in a almost like new city, but it's more like a more golden, like hypertech city than what you're seeing now. You see like, you know, monorails traveling and everything, people just like moving around and stuff. Um, and you see screens everywhere. Think kind of like Wreck It Ralph. Is it like that kind of time thing? on Futurama where they went into the internet? Kind of like that, yeah. That's the reference that Q would understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's this thing or like Mama oh, Man, all those kind of things. As you do, you see a little uh, paper clip just appears like, hello, do you need help with navigating the grid? Yes. Yes, how do I fly? Z axis move Y axis up. Well, Smash no clip. How do you it's fly? Well, flying... <laughs> don't, don't say no clip, Harry. Might get rid of our guide. <laughs> flying, is, flying is a very complex thing for most things. You would need often a plane, though using aerodynamic wings allow one to fly. Do you wish to know about aerodynamics? No. Well, I would like to know how the hover cars work we don't have time for that yes. hover yes. cars based on a system of oh uh, canceling inquiry Q. could you just print out focus. the schematics focus there's a lot of us yes all right then focus you know it's possible you can invent it yourself that's a good point you always believed focus. in this you wish to learn about belief belief is a system of uh, cease we wish to learn about uh, local information news, local news information about the, the nearby areas, current events. Local Others news. could possibly say this in a better way than I have. Why when it's funny when you struggle? Why do we struggle, Master Wade? Any big events happen recently in the nearby areas? Big events. <laughs> There was a big, uh, big protest downtown over a uh, over a distribution of specific of um, uh, distribution of many things. Apparently, there was a distribution distribution node malfunction. Uh, people were angry and protesting. The protest lasted for five hours and was mostly peaceful. Afterwards, the node was repaired and distribution of resources continued to the populace. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was yeah, a there was a scan a uh, graffiti found along in a historical monument downtown. Uh, the graffiti has since been eliminated, and the culprit has been sent to um, uh, the local courthouse for a uh, trial for disruption destruction of historical properties. The trial is expected to be tomorrow, and will be approximately fifteen minutes. Uh, okay. Um, Reality deviant was detected. Elaborate okay, more about that. There was apparently a surge of. Um, it just pause a second. A surge of surge a surge of um, unfamiliar energies within a uh, coordinated zone. Uh, the 
Authorities have since isolated it and are in the process of studying it. No one was harmed or any casualties were reported. Is there more information about what type of energy or anything uh, like that? Uh, that information is not on public access. You can contact the local uh, NWO office uh, to get more information. Perhaps later. Okay. Um, Honey, I was just going to ask, uh, mm. can you- Interruption. Otalis, get the burgers that make you love it. Oh my God, it has ads. Continue now. Uh, can you can you show us all um, uh, like um, posts, uh, messages uh, that are publicly available by private citizens around the area of the uh, reality deviant event? Um, let's go with um, one kilometer radius and sort all messages by um, proximity and um, proximity in distance and proximity in time to the event. Would you I like to I try an it. <laughs> Would you like to try an Atali's burger? <laughs> <laughs> I think I crashed it. Um, there's approximately 12,000 messages uh, detected at the time. Within 100 meters? Yes. Jesus, okay. Which one has the most views? Show us the ones ranked by view, like the top three, I guess. Uh, not, not sure what you mean by top views. Uh, the number of interactions. Impressions. Popularity. Mm -hmm. All information is just shared between citizens. We don't keep track of popularity. Which well, is uh, there is the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of us, seven. Um, divided by six, give, give each of us uh, an equal list of them and we can throw, scroll through them ourselves. Okay. <laughs> thing is like, okay. Was well, there a specific thing that you were looking to find in these inquiries to help narrow things down more? Uh, photos and uh, videos. No, thank you. No? Well, you can give me the ones that have more photos and videos. Okay, uh, it just starts dividing all those messages, all the information. I mean, you just go through like Twitter. It doesn't take that long. If you just, you, you, you're not reading every post. <laughs> you're not reading everything. You're just going through it. <laughs> well, it bring, like when you do it, brings up a thing and it's one per one where you just like. Could, could we look at the, the most recent ones that have photos of the closest location to the event? Mm. We have more text than we don't really have photo. We have texts. No photo, huh? Okay. Uh, let's let's read the top few texts. I think what Q is looking for here, I think that we could all like if there's yeah. any mention of NWO so people that are there. It's like, hey, there's a person in this strange device. Looks kind of like that one famous uh, uh, musician. That's weird. Hey, look, it's that famous musician. Oh, hey. I don't know what happened to that famous musician that she's just, what was her name, Fader or something? Hey, there's a famous musician that just, for some reason, is in Baltimore. Yo, check out this one person's strange outfit and it points to Q. <laughs> Popular. Like, yo. <laughs> Another thing's like, hey, the uh, old house that was abandoned a while, people ran out of. Weird. We get more information about the house. Yeah, things like which house? The one they just mentioned. There's an old house that doesn't fit in in that area. Do you have historical photos of the street? Yes. You just start putting photos from last several centuries to see the whole thing. Except for the house is basically staying the same. That's interesting. Um, 
can I figure out, try to figure out how to operate the system without uh, asking, interacting with this AI? So why would you ever want to do that? That would mean Kevin can't use this character anymore. <laughs> he doesn't mean, Hera. Wow. There's four others of us that he could use it on. Um, Hera, can I find a way to avoid dealing with it's, Kevin? It's actually not <laughs> everyone about else. That. This, can you find this, a way to interact more oh, with Kevin to it? So the, this Hera. assistant seems very much like I, it, it seems even more surveillance y. So it's more on your things. If she can, like, um, without having to go through the um, voice interface, she can, like, more quickly get queries, get results back, and figure out, like, what are, like, poke the system and figure out, like, what actually gives her the results she wants without, uh, and basically having more time to get information so, without alerting securities that might be looking It's at okay. You don't want to spend time with Clippy. You mm -hmm. can say it. You, not... you don't want Kevin to have fun. We know, Hera. <laughs> Uh, intelligent computers difficulty eight. Ooh. Could I assist? Uh, you can roll your own. I'd like to roll my own. Would this consider? Would this be considered? Could I? Could I just use basic technology instead? Nope, it's computers. All right. Uh, so how's it when you use a skill that you don't have? Uh, you just roll the base attribute then. Okay. Uh... Would this be considered a mechanical system? No, it is no mechanics to it. It is digital. 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 So that's intellect, intelligence, and computer? Mm -hmm. okay. I, I have my suspicions that that's going to work. Successes. That's Don't a lot of dice, considering what? You got three successes? Wow. No, I only have no. two in intelligence. Yeah, you rolled too many dice there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm... That was way too uh, many dice. Yeah, exactly. Then of it. Okay, I, I really hate how this how this is set up. I can't just click on fucking intelligence. There's always these dice pools on the top that you have to always manipulate extra every fucking time, and it is so annoying. It is so incredibly annoying. I got a success on a computer. Oof. One success. One. It was a critical success. Nope. Uh, that's that's something. All right. So Q, you are uh, figuring out as you go on. It's kind of hard to navigate because you're just not you. Um, but essentially, you are. Um, you're figuring out that when you kind of bring up the screens or just travel to the places and stuff that you can kind of just um, kind of start thinking. It's an intuitive style program if you don't want to give voice commands, but you basically have to kind of magic your, what you would think in your world as magicing your way around. Mm. You also get a bunch of pop-ups. Um, so, um, so I will say most of you as you're going through this do get this uh, a little bit of remembrance of just stuff that others have talked to you about with stuff back in the old world or your home world AED home world um, y'all do recall that there was a group of mages that defected at some point called the virtual adapts whose entire thing was creating reality 2.0 or the virtual world. And they created a internet that was superior to the internet. Like what sleepers would call the internet is like level one. And then the virtual adapts, the internet was like level four. Like So they made dark web for the dark web. For yeah. The matrix? They made the matrix. Yeah. yeah, this is this is essentially what they were building in their world. They made Second Life, but yeah. edgier. So, yeah. So you that's kind of how advanced. And Clippy here, you're thinking is effectively Microsoft Clippy. So it is. It you are. Well, this is what Q has figured out. When you're talking to this thing, like it's a search engine, you got to get those keywords for it to really search down and the more you give it 
it's kind of like when Google, if you make a huge line of like, hey, Google, can you find this precise video of this guy who is going here on this? And Google is just kind of like, whoa, where are my keywords at, bitch? Sure. So, but what I'm hearing is <laughs> don't speak in complete Dude, sentences. So kind. <laughs> yeah. A complete sentence are fine as long as the keywords are in it. Right. So if Google you're not just hitting... ignores like any, any like, um, conjecture words like and and in and round and around actually not that not thank you or please because that's how they know not to eliminate us yet the old people are saving us anyway <laughs> google can okay. you search this please oh, oh so okay so once q has a little bit more access or freedom to use non-clippy i would like to see if there's a way to find the sewer schematics as they run near or under our house Maybe there's a way to get in the house through the sewer system. As you're thinking that, um, you kind of, you, you, everyone just kind of sees Q going off on his own because as you're trying to figure the schematics, you Q, you notice that you're heading towards that area where your house is, kind of. Mm -hmm. At Bud, shouldn't we stay together? We don't know exactly what we're looking for or how to find it, but I'm going to follow a hunch and see if maybe I can get an idea. All right, I we're still in the system. Same... Oh, someone come with me if you want. It might help. I might. You might see something I miss. I'll go with them. That's good. Mm. We're still in the cafe. Don't worry. I'm thinking maybe I should, you know, disconnect. Keep an eye out. Because currently we see only what's in here, not out there. Do That's we? true. That's a fair idea. Wait, what are what are what are my my siblings doing? You look over, you see them both lightsaber fighting. Just this is awesome. We think it, and it's kind of like that show, you know, that movie that technically has come out in the world, but will come out free guy. Okay, they're having fun. Good. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. You know, just make sure that uh, we're not. Uh, we're not about to be murdered. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. Good call. I tried Good to call. disconnect. You stuck in it. Now. You, now we're doing another video. Peppy's now like, we're doing a different. I see you're attempting to disconnect. Would you like help? Yes, please. Just get me out of this. Typically, unless you change the password. Double tap the back of your wrist. As you do that, the thing just shifts and you are in the cafe. And Tommy walks over. He's like, you back already? What do you think, man? You like it? Uh, There's gravy. My, sibling, my, my siblings like it. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, not, not for me. Not for um, you? Wow. Uh, too bit intense? of motion sickness, but a bit of motion sickness. Oh, too intense. You should uh, next time just try the, uh, uh, the standard caster. It just kind of projects your mind, but not your body. Okay. Like that, that, that sometimes helps because when you're in this way, you are in, you are in the great web of things, and you just travel anywhere, and it's all connected, man. What are you taking, dude? Never mind. LSD, dude. Like, <laughs> totally, man. That stuff's perfectly legal. <laughs> Anything that expands the mind. So just a question. Does this uh, place have a back entrance? Yeah, we. that's where we take the garbage. Okay, cool. Did, did you want to go take the garbage? No. Yeah, no. Okay, I guess that's the only reason to use the back put the garbage in the can and the garbage trucks come and incinerate it. Okay. Uh, I think and, I'm, I'm going to take some fresh air. Oh, we do have a fresh air booth over there. Uh, I meant I'm, I'm going to go outside. <laughs> All right. That's cool. Oh. Do you want me to tell you, friend? You're, 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 the siblings are the two young ones, right? Yeah, they're my, they're my siblings. All right, I just want to make sure not one of the other ones is a sibling. Did you want me to tell them anything on the way if they come back and you're not here? Yeah. Like, okay, you like a place to meet? Yeah. You know. If 
just tell them to stick to Holy if I'm not there. All right, I'll give them the message. Also, if you get the thirsts or you get the grumbles, we do have a cafe upstairs with food if you need it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry your experience, first time experiencing it wasn't that great. You eventually do get used to it, trust me. But until then, you know, enjoy yourself. No pressures. Oh, how tall was this building before we went in? How tall was the building? Yes. About seven story building. So like seven to eight feet. So, oh, no one's allowed up on the roof. It's dangerous for customers. Don't want you to fall and die. I won't. And that's what everyone says. You fool me once, that's me. Twice, that's you. <laughs> Seven times and I learn. Seven times that I get charged for, for aiding suicide. <laughs> how, how did, okay. I'm, I'm just saying, seven, you know, that, uh, that's a bit much for me. People what come about out. If I made it worth your while? <laughs> no, thanks. Uh, customers I don't do with. Well, <laughs> don't think of me as a customer. Think of me as a friend. Are you trying uh, to pull yourself out, Tara? <laughs> nah, man. That's man. literally what it sounds like you're trying to do. Nah, I, I wonder if the cop isn't sh shouldn't be the one that's on the outside looking for this. I, I feel like uh, Anya knows how to look out for cops, so <laughs> no, nah, like he yeah, asked them if they're a cop. They have to legally answer if they're a cop. <laughs> I, I can't let you on the roof. It's it's dangerous. But you can you can sit. I mean, you just need, want to be on top of a building. There's a there, there are other buildings you get on top of. They got the special security. What's so special about your rooftop? Well, I'll tell you the secret. We didn't spend money on the extra uh, the, uh, netting. So it's easier for people apparently to jump off and die. We don't like that. Whatever. But if you're feeling really bad and that is something you're contemplating, there is help. I'm not trying to jump <laughs> off the roof. God damn it. Mm. I, I can call uh, I call an emergency therapist. There'll don't, be here in no time. Don't. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. I have, I have my two siblings to take care of, okay? I'm not going to jump off a fucking roof. You can take them with you. <laughs> I'm not judging, you know, different people, different things, but there is always hope and help. <sighs> but if you just want to breathe out, you know, it'd be, be fine. Just, it's probably best you start talking, otherwise you will need some hope and help. Oh, are you threatening me? This is not cool, man. Just trying to help. I'm trying to get the buzz down. We it's really not shouldn't cool. have it's not, it, it's, it's not cool this. to just fucking diagnose me out of nowhere. Like I'm just saying you you you're really insisting on the roof. <laughs> yeah, because and, it's probably a nice view up there, is all I'm saying. But it's not. We got a really bad sign and the neighbor's about back. Depends what you're looking at. At this point, I'm hard pressed thinking it would be too meta if the cop was to join her for the buddy system and be another set of eyes outside, or if that's me you've, thinking you've too already much volunteered to be the buddy system with Q. Oh, shit, you're right. Yeah. You're too popular. Just, whatever, I'm just gonna step outside All and right. she's I'm gonna go outside and like just keep a keep a lookout for cops. I just have uh, oh, Thomas, Thomas is like, man. Some people get that great psychosis so quickly. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the digital web, uh, you'll be knowing I'm referring to this area as multiple names. Why? Because that's just how reality works. Some people on the, say they're on the internet. Some people say they're on the web. Some people say that they are doing Series the of tubes. Yeah. See, different names depending on your age category. Sorry, I'll shut up. Oh no, searching the tubes. All right, so Q and Talon, uh, you arrive to the area where your house is and you see basically a digital version of it. 
And as you were like thinking of the sewers, you kind of see a three dimensional kind of like three uh, basic holographic display of the sewers, how they relate to the house and stuff underneath it. Are there any sewer lines that go very close to like basement walls or anything like that? Technically, yes. But if you're looking for ones that a human can fit through, not too close, no. Okay. There are was, lines because yeah. you need to, you know, have the shit go Connect somewhere. To, yeah, yeah, we all need that to happen. Yeah, but you do know the house around it where the sewers and stuff are do seem to be an older system that hasn't been updated or, or fixed up compared to most of the city. Does it look, I would turn to Torque and say, does it look like we could dig or blast our way into the house from the basement or from yeah. the sewer? That's exactly what I was about to check into. The answer is, if you got enough explosives, yes. Then yes. That tends to be the answer for if I can blow my way into anything. If you got enough explosives. Uh, and I'm a maybe, magical explosive wizard. Maybe if they had real lightsabers. If they had real lightsabers, it'd be a whole lot more trouble in the world. Well, yeah, but it'd let us well, cut a hole in our base. Lot less. I, I have a question. How many dots and forces is enough explosives? Uh... Depends on how well you utilize it in your stuff. Um, <laughs> if only I had more matter, I could transform the bricks into like water and you could just make it, and make it easier to get through. Yeah. You drown us all. <laughs> no, no, just like make a hole by turning the solid into liquid. <clears throat> so, but I don't think I can do that until a three. I think that we talked about that last time. Although, I guess with two, you could turn one material into another, so I could turn it into, like, spun sugar or something. But you also have to make sure it fits your paradigm and everything, your folk guy. Yeah. Could the two yeah. of us working make it even easier? Or working together, really? Uh, it's a matter of if you can make your folk guy, your paradigm and stuff fit, because mm. that is your belief. Uh, the way it's described is um, if your character actually doesn't believe you can do something then you can't do it even if you mechanically have the thoughts um q is a techno mage who utilizes technology so it would have to be a technological reason for it to do that yeah you'd have to have some sort of pseudo-scientific explanation i mean it doesn't have to be as much as like turning it into another substance you could i don't know like use a Weird sonic gun that makes a yeah know, vibration rock brittle or something like that. Right? Yeah, that would also like be a... break the bonds and loosen the bonds of the of the material <laughs> so they sort of just yeah. are brittle. Yeah, something yeah. like that would be more practical. Would be more along your lines than oh, this is a banana cannon that turns into a banana. Um, you can you see we'll the need difference. some levels before I start doing that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so as you're looking at that, we're we'll skipped to the two who have uh, so far have been very quiet this session. I started right. talking. <laughs> no, no, the other two. Uh, right. Nabu and uh, Jeremy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. So, Holly and Amaryllis, you are both um, kind of like standing before the clippy person, and uh, as you do a what appears to be a anthropomorphic uh, coyote just kind of like pops out between the two of you like, hey! Jesus, what are you, a Firefox? That's a cool name, man. Yeah, no, nah, man. Um, yeah, Why is the coyote high? <laughs> Why high. is all everybody is high here? Because <laughs> it's the uh, future that we want. Yeah, it, it's the future we want, but don't deserve. No, <laughs> the future we deserve, but don't want. Uh, yeah, hi. No, my name's... um. um uh, my brain just, I was just like, I need Willy? Me. <laughs> oh, <not laughs> Willy <me>. Coyote? <laughs> Wiley? Nah. Wally. Wow. Wiley Coyote? Um, Legally distinct Coyote. That's why it's Willy Coyote. <laughs> I was trying to reinforce the joke there because Kevin didn't seem to get it. He gets pretty cocky. My name is um, Juan. I'm out. Hey, Juan. Hi. Yeah. How's it going? Um, yeah, I just saw the two of you standing here talking to that thing. Yeah, it's our first time using this, so. Really? First time at your ages? 
Yeah, we lived kind of sheltered lives. Well, I say, um, so yeah, so um, anything I can help you with? I'm a, I, I've been traveling this area for a lot. This is like my domain. The Quakers of this world, yes, that is true. I mean, the two of you do look interesting, which is why I showed up. I mean, Dad and you were talking to this thing. Almost nobody except for children talked to Clippy here. It's just like Clippy's just like. Hmm. Oh, I was waiting for, Clippy. for Clippy to say, Clippy is designed for people of all ages. <laughs> Clippy says, fuck you. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's like, you know, People have trouble navigating stuff. But yeah. Is there anything I can help you with? Um guide you somewhere. I know where all the fun places are. Do you guys want to play some games? I know where some great games are. Mm. Uh well maybe we could just talk. We we do kind of gotta keep an eye on those two, and I'll point over at Ronya's siblings. Oh shit. Yeah, well, they can come along. We have like the newest games like Doom because they keep remaking that. Or we can play the newest version of Skyrim because they will never bring out Elder Scrolls 6. They're continuously just upgrade Skyrim. Um, <laughs> it's the same game. No it new was, content. Just just revamp the an, graphics. They announced Skyrim. They announced Elder Scrolls 6 200 years ago. <laughs> So they, they, they even stopped upgrading the graphics. I, just every t- three years, there's a new Skyrim release. If we can play it's it in this VR system, and it's worth thing. it. Yeah. yeah, like... They just add another Y to the... Uh, 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 <laughs> Sky! <laughs> they just add a couple miles to the stratosphere for when you get yeeted into the atmosphere <laughs> by the giants. Yeah, I did show you the... Uh, you yeah. can fly all the way to Pluto. Giant. Yeah, but now you can you can just fly. Oh, they all have the way multiple the moons. Room. Yes, well, yeah. they're yeah. not actually moons, but yeah. It I just gives you like... a cutscene. It just gives you a cutscene of you smashing into various different moons. Yeah. So yeah, so I can like pick you around, show you some games, some cool stuff. Because I mean, why else do you come to this great wonderful thing? It is life free from all the horrible things of the flesh. <laughs> Whatever you want, you can get here. Whatever you desire, whatever you need, especially when you're in full immersion like us. Yeah, so like they didn't exactly give us the rundown of how everything works in here. If like, I don't know, I fell and broke my leg in here. Do I do I break my leg out there too? There is no out there. What? You are in here completely. There is so when no I go flat. back, when you go back, is my gonna... leg broken? No, you just heal it while in here. You just repair the data. We are greatness in here. What if I die in here, though? Then you dead. Cool. But don't worry. It takes a lot to kill us. They basically have to destroy or the. De- uh, uh, Derez your uh, data, so to speak. And even then, you can recover it if you get someone who's really, really skilled in data. Because once information is created, it can never truly be destroyed. Just rearranged. I have heard that before. Yeah, yeah. You want to travel to the cosmos? You want to travel to different worlds? You want to live free? All is here in the digital web. Yeah, so. <laughs> Sounding good, huh? You want to stay? No I need mean... to go back. No need to go back. Where do you want to go back? Huh? No, but anyway, I, I'm just messing with you. Um, uh, I'm starting to sound like a druggie. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Like, how how much time do you spend in here? Oh, I entered about 30 years ago. Oh. And you're just still here? Yeah. 
What about like your family outside? Who needs family? They just a bunch of meat flesh bags that just keep you down. It's all about you. Individualism. Who cares about anyone else? Mm, indeed. Yeah. I mean, you can do anything. Like, this is a new world, a new reality. Just look into Everellis. Hey, you look like someone I saw on a music uh, vid a bit ago. Yeah? Uh, except she wasn't sitting in that weird contraption. Tell huh. me about them. Oh, they're a, a musician, uh, kind of popular, does a lot of uh, different kinds of music around. Um <clears throat> Pretty famous. Um, oh, married like five times to five different people. There was a scandal with the last marriage. Woo. Apparently their spouse mysteriously disappeared. And no, they think it was foul play, but hey, who knows? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, and then they were supposed to be having an affair with one of the di- uh, assistant directorates in the syndicate at one point. Now that was scandalous. Uh, but yeah, you look a bit like them. I, I'm surprised people haven't uh, been like asking for your autograph or something. Uh, it's probably probably this. Man, she'll motion to the chair. Yeah, Usually, I, it's pretty intimidating to people. I've never seen one of those before. Weird. You can't walk. So I so. have a sign. You can't. Why didn't you no. go get that fixed? Same reason why we have never used one of these before. Where the hell did you... You must be from some really backwater place like Detroit yeah. or something. You know, just have no idea. Maybe no, Ohio. Ohio. We came from Ohio. Oh, yeah, that explains it. Ohio <laughs> is like a barren just waste. Ohio is just the PVP location. Yeah. Ever since the Great Toronto War, it is gone. <laughs> <laughs> just Canadians were Canadians are tired of burning down the White House. They just burned down all of Ohio. Yeah, just... Whew. It's more like Obaho now, you know. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> so, so I had a thought. I I can find any information in here. Can I like look up people and see what they're doing right now? Like, like. Yeah, sort of. Certain individuals are not accessible by most people, depending on mm-hmm. where they exist. So, for example. Let's say you wanted to look up, um, ooh, um, the uh, oh oh the uh, the uh, Lord Mayor of uh, Baltimore, uh, someone named uh, Coldwell. Uh, if you want to look her up, she's just blocked off from things um, because you know per, uh, certain privacy things uh, prevent that. So there's still some privacy unless you have specific codes or specific authorizations. And then you can override things, but you have to get permission from someone in authority for most of that, unless you know the right people, if you know what I mean. I was just thinking of like my ex. Oh, yeah, yeah. If they're not like got special privileges, you can probably no, look yeah. it up easily. Yeah, let me take you to where, uh, where you search things, uh, unless you want to use Clippy. Can everybody see what Clippy shows me? Yeah, Clippy, search. Um, what's your ex's name? It, it they're embarrassing. I, I prefer some Clip, privacy for Clippy, it. Clippy, search. They're embarrassing. N- no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get it? Uh, that, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, no, that. Uh, do you know where they live? Uh, where they used to live. Uh, Okay, well, in that case, we just go to an archive. Follow me. As he goes, you just see him kind of like floating. He's like, yee. Uh, with that, we cut to Ronya. I actually have a question. So mm-hmm. when I came out of it, did I see the others standing there or not? Nope. They're not there. Okay, that didn't freak me out at all. Nope, nope, not at all. <laughs> totally. yeah. So you're standing outside, just, you know, a few seconds later, a person just walks up to you. He's like, hey, you got light? 
Sure. Ah, okay. And I pull out the light. Oh. Pulls out a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> ah! No. Want to get down on this? It's the good stuff. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, she... Actually, she looks at this. What is this? It's the finest uh, THC-infused uh, plant-based object. All right. It, it's specially modified by the uh, progenitors, uh, modified several plants. So not only does it get you feeling good and stuff, it actually gets you a whole host of vitamin D, uh, B12, B11, uh, and a few other nutrients that you need. Anya looks up at this guy. I can see how one could need it in this world. Yeah. I mean, there's better stuff out there, like uh, the apples. Basically, one apple gives you basically uh, almost every nutrient you could really need. Same with the potatoes. Uh, most food here is actually just chock full of nutrients. So no matter what you're eating, you eat healthy. So it's, it's amazing, I'm telling you. Modern right. technology, like growing up, we there's only a handful of foods. Now it's everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, draw a super weed. <laughs> it's good. Um, you new around here? Uh, you could say that. I just did. Come again? Uh, only when I get paid. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I just said, hey, you're new around here. And he said, I could say that. And then I said, I already said that. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm from out of town. Oh, anywhere particular? Uh, not really. A little uh, bit middle of nowhere. Ah. Uh... I see how it is. Don't trust the random stranger coming up and sharing the weed with you. I don't trust anybody. Oh, that's rough. Well, anybody I don't know. Typically, that's standard procedure. If you don't know someone, why are you going to just trust them randomly? Listen, I have a little sister. She basically trusts everything that has oh, children at least are, two legs. Yeah, children are innocent and they just believe the best in everyone that is why uh children are a precious commodity in this universe they're highly protected too them and dogs what about cats cats just do whatever the fuck cats want yeah that's my experience too yeah yeah some cats love you beyond belief some want your doom I imagine Anya says that as like Snorlax just like sitting on her shoulder, like wrapped around for like a scarf. <laughs> and Snorlax is like, this world feels kind of very oppressive for me. I know, buddy. And she just like scratches him into behind the ear. Shit, I thought I just heard your cat talk. I didn't think. Huh. I thought you they got rid of the good that. stuff. Well, yeah, but I also thought they got rid of that uh, feature after the. Uh... Never mind, but yeah, they, they they did do an experiment with talking cats a while back, apparently, and it didn't work out too well. I I could I could I could see why. Yeah, I think a, a lot of people are not prepared for the thoughts cats have to share. Yeah, apparently, cats practice a philosophy of perfect absolute candor with 100 percent truth they don't lie or hide anything from you really they just tell you how it is and people don't want to hear that sometimes people just don't like hearing the truth yeah that's true yeah but yeah they so they stopped breeding the talking cats talking cats mm -hmm. Oh, there's also many uh, giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
mini giraffes? Yeah, some very rich people apparently have them as they can fit in your pocket or a purse. Oh, so like uh, some people used to carry around dogs? Yeah. Oh, I see. I mean, I could, I can see it. It's not a giraffe, are kind of cute. Mm-hmm. Not my favorite, but you know. Hey, you want to go to a hot topic? There's one down the street. Uh, I'm I'm waiting for my friends here. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go shop. I need some more uh, Janko jeans. Okay. Have a good night. Back into and the <laughs> one more. Honey actually looks to um. Uh, to someone like, and it's like anything specific you like in terms of feeling oppressive. The way to the other realms, the higher planes where familiars are from and stuff is feels almost inaccessible. Like the gauntlet here is thick, thick like a Wendy's frosty. So that's about your yeah, way hanging out like a sack of potatoes. Yes, it's hard to just feel the spirituality of the world. It's like science and technology control the world. Yeah, that sucks. Um, if you need some more, you know, sustenance, just uh, say something. All right. I I don't want you disappearing on me here. I feel like if I disappear, there ain't no coming back. It's going to be hard to get through that boundary. Yeah, exactly. On the other hand, your one weird friend, Q, probably would have an easier time with his devices of metal. Probably. Probably has one up on you. He also has an easier name to spell. Okay. It's like four letters and they're all silent but the first one it's just one letter oh i thought i spelled like q like line no i think it's just one letter at least that's how i saved him in my phone now that works too that's a weird word q because it's just q but you still have extra letters and anya very quickly puts away her phone after she looks like at the contact (laughs) because she doesn't want to draw attention to it (laughs) Back into the thing, back to Q and Talon. As you both were discussing blowing holes and things. Yes, I think we would uh, make a note of the best part of the sewer that is like the closest to the basement, and then also maybe try to find a path that would lead us there from some sort of entrance. Just so if we need, if we decided to go about the route of the sewer. We would be able to get there from somewhere safety, perhaps, hopefully. And then also, once we finish that, Q would also look for like any nearby hardware stores or shops like that in case he wanted to get some equipments or tools to make one of those sonic guns everyone's talking about. Um, There are hardware shops and stores um Mm -hmm. you actually find an area that's labeled uh mall which is a very large like 120 story building that's just all shopping mall oh that that could be fun apparently even has a small amusement park in it like the mall of america oh i bet these uh future sci-fi rides would be really interesting you go there, teacups. But they work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So looking, uh, yeah. So as you're looking for that, there, there you see a little beep and thing goes up, and it's like, uh, science has finally discovered McDonald's ice cream machine problem. No longer will the ice cream machines be broken. What a crazy mixed up world we live in. I have uh, a machine. Pray to is, the machine spirit. Omnisaya. Um. Yeah, if there's nothing else to 
see about the, the sewer or house area that we would notice, then I think I would move on. All right, we're moving on to. I don't know. I'd ask Torque, I guess, like, what do you think? Do you think this is the best way in? Or should we look for something else? I still think the house is the best way to get back to where we're from. Well, we're still thinking about it as if we're only able to get in through the sewers. That doesn't necessarily mean there's not a way in through a backyard or some other way that you to that's true pop in unannounced, so to speak, both literal and metaphorical. Yeah, yeah. Are these houses like wall to wall with nearby houses? Um, or is there yards like between them, like thin alleys between them? I'm just wondering, like, you could go into one and like go through the wall to the next one to get into our house. So, you know, back home you could, but here it looks like there is a gap between oh, the gap. buildings okay. and the trench house. It's almost like the trench house, for whatever reason, kind of is isolated from the areas around it. But that does beg the question, how big are these alleys? Uh, it is not a large gap between the buildings, probably. So looking at the map, since you are basically kind of 3D representation around in front of you and you can just kind of walk around and physical thing um the gap between the chantry house and the house next to it is about the size necessary for a person to walk between them sideways so about that thickness so it's not a big gap but it's still a little bit of a gap so if you um, break through one to the next one you would notice the hmm. jump but I, I actually have a question so there was like i'm not no longer in the system but it's just something that came to me so like it could feasibly come to someone else um when we asked for like major news stuff uh there was mentioned a protest about a note was this talking about the same kind of note that we were guarding or are supposed to be guarding i guess Cameron invested to deep into it so he could go back in with that question and access it another way or I don't think Ronya would go back in, but maybe someone else would post the question. <laughs> so. Hmm. Could we find out like if there's like a headquarters of Etherites in the area? Um, yeah. So um, if you're just like, you know, looking for going through like the map, you see the hologram map of the city just kind of like going by as you learn to navigate and um, so the technocratic union, there's various areas, but the convention known as uh, the Society of Ether, which they actually probably was, would be going by an older name, but we're just going Etherites for now. Um, you do know they have a recruiting headquarters within the city and it's where you can recruit, but it's also their main base of operations. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's a very large, very interesting looking building. I bet. Uh, yeah, it's very Arc Deco in many ways. I wonder if it's a transformer. It's good to know the location, even well, if can, we don't end up going there. It can there. produce power occasionally. Hmm. Exactly what they would all think I meant by saying that. <laughs> I don't have anything else right now. How about you, Torque? You said. The distance between them were small gaps. What about the back end? Is there a backyard? Is it the same thing? Is there a small gap to the next building? Uh, yes. So essentially, you have the Chantry House, and then you have buildings kind of around it, like just massive skyscraper kind of things, what I described. And there is that gap on three of the four sides. The fourth side is the street side. How tall are the buildings around it? Same height or... No, windows uh a lot taller um taller. they are yeah so um i think i described it uh was it up was it no it was um was it i'm trying to remember the movie anyway uh basically you have your house which is like the two three story thing and next you are effectively skyscrapers so it kind of stands out comparatively like your place they saw skyscrapers do the windows on any of those buildings open open no but they are windows skyscraper windows generally don't open once you get above certain floors Safety. right when you get 
above certain floors. Yeah. But you'd have to go and check them out, but probably not. But again, they are windows which are easily gotten through. Yeah. One way or another. Yeah. That's kind of what I was asking. Okay. Um, I can't think of much else. I think there's only for. so much we can we can plan before we know how I guess we, we should assume they're watching the house. And I don't know, maybe come up with something else. We'll see what the other group missed out of. Mm. All right. So as you do that, uh we'll get to the other group. Uh Holly and Amaryllis. So Holly, you're gonna yeah, and Amaryllis go to an archive building with uh Juan. Yeah, it looks like in, he goes, looks, uh, you enter like, you, as you're just going, following him, it just, everything just kind of shifts and you enter what effectively is that stereotypical old library style building. So just rows and rows of what would be books, but they're not actually books, you know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um. So Juan's is like, yeah, this is an archive building. We, um, I don't use them too, too often. Um, sometimes the guardian librarians can be a little um, aggressive, but oh, if you start looking too deep in things that you shouldn't, uh, because you have you know your classifications and stuff, it gives you warnings like, hey, above your security clearance, or hey, above your you know rank whatever and if you keep going they will attempt to uh rip your data apart oh okay but don't worry if it's above your rating you when you first touch it it just the, the thing won't activate you have to keep pushing okay good to know and that's very good to know i mean it, it should also be obvious you do know your ratings right go no. We literally told you we've never used these before. You guys think it implanted? Oh, do you got a card? Uh, like the, the, the ID cards? I've implanted with other things, but never that. Oh, you're off the grid a little. Interesting. Anyway, this is the archive here. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, if I, uh, is, I don't know, is there like a screen or something that I can look this up in relative? Uh... Yeah, um, just kind of think what you're trying to look up, or you could type it into like the little panel over there. Uh, there's also the microfiche machine. I'm going to go to the type in a uh, place where I can type it into a panel. Yeah, we don't even know why they have a microfiche machine. They just never get rid of them. I think the way to get rid of them is on a microfiche, and no one can know how to read it. Because the directions are on a microfiche. Now, we'll make sure that this guy does not follow me and look over my shoulder while I do this. All right. You just stand there. Hey. Um, so you go and you look up a piece of information. So let us have you roll a little. Oh, boy. Okay. What do I roll? Uh, computers and intellect. Nice. Difficulties only uh, five. It's a basic search. Oh, thank God. Being in uh, the archive. Intelligence and computers. She's going to roll low, people. She's going to roll low. Shush. We know, Kev. Seven ones. <laughs> Difficulty is five, you said? Mm hmm. Fuck me! You did succeed though. Got two successes, one taken off because of the one. So she did real well though. Yeah. You go and you look up. What was it you're searching for? Uh she's searching her own name. Ah, oh, I know. I Google myself often too. Um. Well, it, it there apparently exists an Amaryllis in this ver universe. So is there a <laughs> version of all of us or? So you look up. It's like Holly Morgan. Shit. Holly Morgan. Uh junior assistant. Um 
junior, uh, basically junior assistant uh, manager of the, <clears throat> let's see, Holly was born in Baltimore in the other universe, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, basically junior assistant um, manager of a um, syndicate house in what is now, what is effectively uh, Philadelphia. And the syndicate house is uh so you look look up uh essentially it is the um <clears throat> when the syndicates uh hit the headquarters of the syndicate within the city where they do their um stuff so, so. she's she's with the technocracy mm-hmm. she's a member of the syndicate Looks like her primary responsibilities are the um, monitoring uh, financial flow between several uh, institutes in order to make sure that they're exacting specific changes so that you can control the flow of wealth. Oh, she's a nerd. <laughs> You're saying that like she isn't already. Yeah, she's a math magician. She's an artsy nerd. <laughs> Yeah, and there, a nerd. And there's a picture of her. She's wearing like a, you know, super not nice, you know, a cut suit and everything, like very sharp lines. Just sitting there. She, you know, one of those corporate photos that you just kind of like, you know, facial emotions, whatever, hair all pulled back. She is the opposite of everything that Holly stands for. She's a narc. I'm going to search up Ronya's name next. Oh my god, she's going to be a fucking cop. <laughs> <laughs> the worst fate for her. Or anybody. absolutely dead. Yeah. It says, uh, how old is Ronya's uh, Ronya? Uh, how old? Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck. I, I wrote this down somewhere, like early 20s. Early 20s. Um, you see it says, uh, you look up and it just says Lieutenant Ranya Wolf of uh, Void Engineers, status unknown. Last mission was to uh, patrol Outer Dark. So she's both. She's a cop and dead. <laughs> <laughs> you said cop and then dead. And then Kevin's like, I'm going to put both of them together for fun. Um, note the Void Engineers are not cops. They're more, I think, um, they're Star SpaceX. Trek, Star Trek slash Space Marines. Space cops. Okay, so what kind of Space Marines are we talking here to? <laughs> You're uh, lamenters because you died. <laughs> depending on what the GM feels like and how hardcore the game is. <laughs> <laughs> it goes anywhere from Aliens to Doom to 40K, depending on how the GM's okay. like, I'm okay. going to make this hard on you turns out ranya was a was a um fuck my brain had it, a night lord this entire time <laughs> yeah it looks like uh ranya is a member of the void engineer uh infantry uh thing so basically first in the ground for extrusions from the outer dark that threaten reality so foot soldier okay so but an officer in that so she commands a unit Starship Troopers, Mobile Infantry. We get sent down to back You're Trooper. doing yeah. your part. We, we get sent yeah. down to a planet with limited information and all get slaughtered. Yeah. Um, so, and the main reality, the Void Engineers are of the technocratic union. The Void Engineers are the ones that are considered relatively good guys and are the ones that the traditions can tolerate because their main thing is we are literally out there fighting no, uh, unknowable <laughs> things. We're fighting Cthulhu, so you don't have to. <laughs> um, fuck it. I'm gonna look up the rest of these goobers. I'm looking up uh, Torque next. Torque down. You just see a list of alternate names. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So you see that? Um, you looking? Uh, just. Let me think real quick. Um, finds a list of all the different um, <laughs> wrenches and styles. <laughs> um, 
appears to be a member of the um, what's called Iteration X, which are the materials kind of science slash cybernetic machine based and looks like I'm an X-Man. No, no, you you became part of the um, the uh, Mechanicus. Oh, shit. Um, Now fuck toasters. Uh, from what you can tell, uh, they uh, this reality's torque is a member of the um, uh, operates with the Hitmark program, and essentially is like helps field them into the fields and make sure that they don't go AWOL too much. Okay, Holly doesn't know what that means, but Cat just pissed her pants. <laughs> <laughs> Do I even know what the fuck Q's name is? <laughs> you type Q, we just get QAnon. It somehow exists. No, in this it wouldn't universe. be QAnon. It would be Q from James Bond, at least. Let's see. What did he tell us his name is? How would James Bond exist if the British Empire was never a thing? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Got you, British. <laughs> Probably also find Q from Star Trek. Yeah. yeah. See, those are the two big, the two big ones. The first thing you get, first thing I get is a CBC broadcast because that's a show name. It's literally called Q. Um, you're figuring out that there is the mental component. So like, you know, his name and it kind of like figures out who you're talking to. Because if you just look up, up just names, there's hundreds of people, but you're getting the first hit with these people. So you're thinking. Uh, I will try. Typing Q and thinking of our Q. All right, Q. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see that this Q is also a member of Iteration X in this universe, not an Etherite, surprisingly. But uh, what this Q essentially is is a effectively one of their jobs. What literally you can see, because they don't give you full profiles and everything. Um, is essentially trying to create a new it just specifies creating a new alloy of several you know unattainium and stuff like that to uh help strength things so basically q is a um metallurgist that's cool that's what i would do irl i'm picturing i basically get like their free linkedin page and you get the little picture of everybody and their little corporate thing Cool, 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 cool. All right. I'm scared. And then it comes up because, you know, thinking you just see Naboo and uh, Jeremy pop up. Oh, yeah. What are, what are they like? Uh, apparently, uh, they both are living in a um, void engineer colony. Uh, it's within the, what's called, it says the shard realm of Titan. Okay. And apparently they are both just living life in that colony. It makes me nervous that it just has addresses for them. Well, it gives you the colony. It doesn't give a specific address on the colony. Oh, okay. All right. Now, what about the actual acts? Yeah, dish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Yeah. The extra X. Um. Yeah. Actually, yeah, no. I'm gonna look up Magnus. Um, you search that up. You see a thing. Um, everybody's saying Magnus Magnuson. Um. It gives a date, uh, it says uh, deceased on it. And there's a news report apparently the uh, about 10 years ago and stuff, right before the great pogroms uh, went, a there was a massive strike against one of the lo- last bastions of the traditions. And apparently he was one of the casualties of it. Do I recognize any other names among the casualties? A uh, couple names of people you've heard around, but no one major that you recognize. Banner is the last hurrah in their um, last sanctum. 
so to speak. What about, um, uh, I can never remember his name, the name of the guy who owned the house before us. That would be, you know, there's a lot of names on my list. Uh, it's something old fashioned like Eugene or Eustace or something. Why don't I see it? Oh, it scrolled over too far. Yeah, it was Eugene. He's the one who sacrificed himself. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no real record of Eugene. Um, there is some like a birth record, no death certificate. Um, and apparently stayed off the grid. Hmm. Okay. Which you recall in your world, he was still using gas powered stuff and a time of electricity. Okay. All right, that makes things interesting. All right, I'm gonna go back to Amaryllis. And that is why they made me their chief. Oh, she's back. Oh. Yeah, I was talking about this game I played where we went, uh, uh, it's like a medieval fantasy thing where we use big axes and we go and battle each other. It's really cool. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Battle Sword. So creative. Yeah, he's still a tool. I don't know what I was expecting. Did the axe. Um, I do think we need to go back and check on our, our friends' siblings, though. Yeah. Oh, no, they're having fun. Yeah, but she just likes that we keep an eye on them because, like, you know. How it so is. the three of us went away from them for miles, seeing them alone in that area when you're supposed to be keeping an eye on them. Oh my God, they could be lost or kidnapped or who knows what's, uh, what's happening. You didn't even tell me to bring them along. What the hell's wrong with you? They're right over there. You see, that's why you need to always make sure you keep an eye on them. You almost believed me, Mr. Foxman, because you weren't keeping an eye on your friend's siblings. I feel like they can take care of themselves. Yeah. See, I know better. I know when children, they're actual children. Wait, hold on. Yeah, they're actual children. I know how they are. I had to double check that their avatars have weren't just disguises and their actual children. Is that a thing that's happened to you before? Yeah. Someone was like, help, I'm a child and I'm lost. My parents don't know where I am. And blah. So I transferred them a little bit of money to help them out. And motherfucker was a 90 year old dude trying to scam my ass. I mean, trying, I, but I imagine if Jeremy hurt and, and being called a child, he would he would <laughs> loudly protest. <laughs> And two, you are 20, you are a child. <laughs> you can die for our country, but you aren't an adult yet. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, when you learn, you can create whatever avatar you kind of want here and live what you want. I always felt, you know, foxy, coyote ish, foxy. I had a few friends like who were thought that same way too. Yeah. One made a lot of money doing art. People make money doing art. Oh yeah! Wow. Yeah, AI just generates it here. Not the same. Yeah. It's perfect That's and so beautiful. Sad. Have you met AI? He's awesome. Can't say I have. Yeah. Right. But yeah, we can take your. Uh... Now, when you say your friends' kids, they didn't just abandon you with the kids and went to get milk and aren't coming back, are they? No, no they she'll were be here back. Before. Okay, because <laughs> I've heard stories of that happening to people. <laughs> Some people are very neglectful. Fortunately, the um, uh, NWO looks very, very down upon people who abandon their kids. Not a surprise. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the NW has some faults, but man, when it comes to children, they are super protective. They are our future, after all. Yeah. I'll get Syndicate R2. Yeah. 
So off we go. Um, so everyone's getting information. Uh, and I think we'll just end it there. Um, the next we can pick up where everyone gathering up, trying to figure out what's going on and stuff. Learn. I know this session was a bit of exposition, but you are in a brand new reality. Mm -hmm. So some exposition is to be expected so that you know what the hell is going on. <laughs> You know, not going to yeah. just throw you in a random world and be like, ah, you know everything. I bet this place sells everything that Batman ever used. <laughs> Batman. Correct. Uh, so. Peek into my own thoughts. Yeah. With that, um, yeah, we'll be leaving you for this evening. Hope you enjoyed this session. Hope you enjoyed learning about this strange new alternate reality. Um, there are some pieces of information that I don't think the PCs themselves are going to discover. So maybe next time I'll have a little bit of notes to be like, hey, here's some random information about the alternate timelines and stuff that are just nifty for those who want to know. Because uh, there's always stuff that you're not going to ask that I think is nifty. Um, so with that, uh, I think we're pretty good. Uh, we're not going to really do any plugs at the moment um because there isn't very much other than keep uh, attuning to this channel uh checking out our videos mondays and wednesdays uh we're doing good we got so much going on check out one more night check out savage pathfinder check out this check out insect nights and uh until next time uh outro <laughs> uh, nailed it <laughs> A magic word. Bye. Bye. Bye.